Since 1958, Bursa Firearms have been making pistols for shooters, for law enforcement, and you may have owned a Bursa because they're very popular for concealed carry, but they have some new guns, and these are 1911s. These are from Bursa USA. They're made in right here in Georgia, which is really cool. They're all the same configuration, but different finishes. And I think variety is the spice of life, and I kind of think black guns are maybe boring. Sorry if I offend anybody there, but here are four different colors. There are actually six different varieties. You've got the blue stainless, you've got the FDE, You've got the two-tone, which I really like the look of that one. And then you've got the mirror finish, which is really pretty. They also have a rosewood and an onyx finish. They're all the same configuration, so let's talk about some of the features in this because this is a nice feature set. Tritium front sight. It's gonna help you pick up the front sight easier while you're shooting. And of course, it's going to glow in low light situations, which is a nice feature. Ambi thumb safety. Got to have a thumb safety on a 1911, and having an ambi gives you options on ways to run the gun, and of course, left-handed shooters, they took care of you guys there. Another big one are the VZ grips. A lot of gun companies are using VZ grips because they're super durable, and they look great. Another thing is the texturing is really nice on these. Of course, you can swap them out. It's one of the easiest things to do to customize your 1911. These are fairly trim, and I kind of like the feel of them. You also have front checkering, and back checkering on this gun. And just a nice feeling gun. So let's take it to the range. A lot of people favor the 45 ACP, and I know exactly why. It's because they don't make a 46. I'm out on the range with Bursa's new 1911s, and they are really cool. They look great, they shoot great, and they actually have great fit and finish. The one that draws my eye first, of course, is this FDE model. I haven't shot it yet. I'm gonna take some shots with it, see how it feels. I do like the trigger. When I can hold it steady, it shoots pretty darn straight. There's a lot of features in here. You got VZ grips. There's not a lot of 1911s that are priced within your price range that have front checkering, rear checkering, good bright front sights, ambidextrous controls. Right around $1,000 for almost any one of these models, this high polished version strikes me as the perfect barbecue gun. It looks good, and if it shoots like the last one, oh yeah. These guns shoot, the trigger's great. We're only talking about $1,000 for these guns. So for a 1911 with this many features, heck, why not get two? Because everybody should have a barbecue gun. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to guntalk.com, guntalktv.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.